the automation lanes at the bottom. You just keep on folding out automation mm. lanes at the yeah. bottom of yeah. the MIDI editor window. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, but um, yeah, um, great feature. <laughs> yeah. Fab. <laughs> Um, so, uh, let, yeah. Johanny, let me ask you a question because and, yes. and I I haven't touched uh, Logic in recently enough to know the answer to this question. But where is Logic um, with relationship to MPE? Well, uh, good question. It understand. I think it can play it back, and but I don't think you can program it inside. I, I I'm I'm not sure. I. I where I discovered MP is in a Bitwig studio, which mm -hmm. I think yeah. was the first door that used it. And it's super handy, especially for folk musicians. They go bananas when I show them that because you can pitch band one note in a chord mm -hmm. and you can do all, all kinds of interesting microtonality stuff. And I, as the way I understand it, I haven't checked it out um, that well in, in, in Logic, but it, it will play it back, I think. But you can't write it. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's the same thing with Pro Tools. It does understand it, I think. Well, well if you go to a live online learning seminar, I do <laughs> yeah. talk about that as well. Um, so, so this is so, so MPE, what, for those who don't know the acronym, stands for multi polyphony expression. Um, and, and basically, it is it is a way of working with MIDI, and it, it's in some senses it's just a a, a a a trick that they do with the existing spec. But it it really is kind of a transformative thing, um, where you know you can have different you can have different uh, uh, parameters on different notes. Now you need to have the 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 right uh, kind of keyboard to be able to play it. So I've got over here because I'm that guy. I've got a Roly and I've got a Sensel over here. So I've got two MPE keyboards. I actually don't have any keyboards in my office that aren't MPE. That's how much of a geek mm -hmm. I am. But for for strings and for anything that is that's going to be outside of the normal tonality, this is is where it goes. And here's how I set it up. So dun, dun. So what I have, so so Falcon, you you're seeing Pro Tools now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So so Falcon all of a sudden now in the in the Falcon 2.0 now has a, a bank of MPE presets, which are designed to be able to accept multi polyphony expression natively. Um, I also have East West East West does the same thing. Obviously, um, the the uh, equator, which is the the one that comes with Rolly does the same thing. So so there's a growing list of of instruments that that accept MPE. Um, the way that I've got this worked out is that if you take a look over here, I've got a, a again, it's a folder. I don't know how I lived without them for so long. <laughs> um, I've got, I've got a folder and each one of these 16 MIDI tracks has an individual MIDI channel input from my Roly. Okay. And it also has an individual MIDI channel output to the Falcon. So this is taking input on channel one from the Roly outputting it to MIDI channel one on the Falcon. It takes a little bit of time to set up, but only once, right? And I even, let's see if I can I find mean, that uh, location. that's just cascading, right? So it's uh, basically just one shortcut yeah. to cascade the... Yeah, except for MIDI doesn't cascade quite right, oh, all right. All right. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, Thanks, Anders. Uh, that's awesome. Um, Cut that no, out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know no. you won't, Dave. You never do. No, no, don't, don't, because it. So Cascade <laughs> doesn't work exactly the way you want it to do with MIDI, but it. So it, it's a little bit maddening, but at the same time, it's it's not the end of the world here. And so here's what I've got. So I've I've got a whole bunch of. I'll just show the the tracks. So so each one of these is is just a single pitch at a time, right? And so if I play this. So that's, and again, it's an easy thing to set up. And one of the cool things you can do with that is, is this little guy is, and this is something you can't do with most instruments. So if I'm going to go here, I'm going to change all these guys to show bend. And here you can see, I've got two different pitch bend mm. playlists over here. And this is what this looks like. Oh, 
Oh, I love synths. Mm. Oh, it's just, That's uh, beautiful. Uh, I, I, That's I, really I, cool. I, I love PE. It, 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 it's the most exciting thing that to, to happen to MIDI in a long time. But, uh, and, and, and Johanna, you, you mentioned this, is Bitwig has probably been the leader in building MPE into, mm. into yeah. their engine. And I think Pro Tools might be the last one because mm. it's because there's a lot of other things that we're working on but mm -hmm. until that happens if you want to set up mpe this it's a, it's a super easy way to do it in fact um uh dave maybe we can take this as a track preset and throw this into a into the uh into the yeah. youtube link or something like that mm -hmm. um you know so just so that my pain can be your gain um because it does take a little bit of time to, to set yeah. up but once you do it once you do it's done and yeah. and again you're working inside of the same DAW where your live drummer's playing, where your live guitar player is strumming. And, and you don't have to jump from one platform to another, which is a big deal to me.